All right, so I also wanted to show you how we would make this into a screen that would sort of emit light. Now this is not actually emitting light, but uh, enough for a screen to look like an actual screen. So first I'm just gonna make a small room. Okay, so now we have a room, we have a TV in a room. Uh, let's first, let's turn off the environment. So all we have is now our heavy duty light that we had put there. I'm gonna turn it down so it's really low. Okay, so we kind of can't see anything, but now we know that we're on our artwork. All you have to do is take the artwork, clone it. So now we have artwork one. Let's change this to artwork add, which will be a clue to what we do next. So we take artwork add and we change it to additive in the materials tab. How did it get to blending? I'm so confused. So we'll turn it to additive, always unlit. And now we have the opacity so we can make it lighter or darker. And now you have a screen. We can turn off all the lights and the screen will still be illuminated. Put on post-process. Let's turn some lights up. So let's turn this light back on. We'll make it a little lower. We'll make the environment lower to something a little more natural. So something like this. And now you have something that you can make for a screen or anything else. You can see there's even a little uh, reflection going on there. Maybe if I put, put the reflectance all the way up and you can see the reflection. Um, but unfortunately, there's not really, it's not really emitting light. So if I was making this an actual room, I would just take a, uh, I would add a light. I'd probably try a point light Although point lights can get kind of annoying. Maybe I'll just, for this demo, I'll make it a little bit green. I'll put it kind of close to her. Um, and I'll also, when I use point light, I change it from shadow map to screen space. That way it doesn't really, like otherwise it just, it doesn't, it doesn't respect like it shows like the light behind this. I don't really understand that about point light, but uh, using screen space usually works. So I might do something like this. So it kind of looks like there's some uh, green light coming off the screen or something like that. Um, but I do little tricks like that because obviously it's fake emitting light, but you do want to add some light if you have it. But anyway, that's how you make um, the screen sort of illuminate. Uh, this would be the same exact thing if you want to make something glow. Let's say we had a donut or a tortoise. Where, where, where is the tortoise? Where did you go? Sometimes you just add stuff and it just disappears. What are we doing? So now we have our little donut here. I'm going to tap the gizmo where all the options are hidden behind. I'll make it pretty fat. Why not? Tap gizmo again. So let's say this is a glowing donut, a glowing yellow donut right here, or glowing red. It's a glowing red donut. Is that weird? We'll make it yellow. So now we have our Taurus. We're going to validate it. We'll clone it. We'll clone. We'll do additive. Always unlit. Now it's quite bright. So let's take both of them and let's go to a yellow color maybe something like this and why is it so bright did i change both of them to additive or is one blending let's go to the original one and let's see what's going on here oh it's opaque all right let's go to the other one see what's happening always unlit additive i guess that's where we need to go maybe we need to make it a little bit brighter Now it looks like a glowing, a glowing ring that Sonic would be proud of. And again, change this to yellow. And then I probably move it like around here. Turn it up a bit. 
And if that doesn't work, because see how point light is acting up? Shadow map is cool, but again, it doesn't really respect the shadows. So that kind of works, but it kind of looks weird too. But another trick that I might do is use a spotlight and just point it down from above. Turn snap off. Might open this up like this. And again, the only problem is the shadow underneath it doesn't really make sense, but sometimes you have to figure out how to do, um, how to make this work. What would I do? And why, why can't I get more yellow out of that? What if I just turn the reflectance up? Let's delete this light. Yeah, it's tricky. But anyway, that's how you make things glow. You do have to be creative sometimes. I don't know why this is freaking out. Why are you freaking out? Why is it freaking out in some views? I don't know what's up with that. Very odd. Anyway, hope that was helpful. As you can see, you have to do some playing around and uh, figuring little details out to make things work, but that's how it is. That's the world we live in. Um, yeah, keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks so much for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe and check out my Skillshare classes for more tutorials. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. Just trying out the new grip, seeing what it's all about. Definitely makes it easier to hold the camera. So this is the automatic video setting. Probably what I would use if I was out and about. So I'm sitting in my car for alternate side parking and as soon as I get back inside, I'm gonna start coloring and doing post-process and finishing up Goofy. But I have to sit here for another 10 minutes or so, so I'll be right with you.